Hi, Louis. <laughs> when I phoned. Well, I was. You won't believe the things I'm finding. <laughs> you remember this? The bluebird. We've looked for that for years. Where did you find it? Well, right there in that box with the extra strings of light. <laughs> this was Betty's favorite. She said she remembered when she was three years old. I held her up so she could see the tree, and she reached out and touched it. <laughs> You know, sorting through these ornaments is a little bit like going through the family album. All our Christmases with the children. Bud's <laughs> horn. It's the first thing you put on the tree. Oh, and remember how Kathy loved this. She had a special name for it. What was it now? Uh, oh, I know. Beulah? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, that brings back a Christmas. Do you remember when my sister Neva visited us? Oh, and that awful run-in she had with Kathy. We thought we were headed for disaster that Christmas Eve. Well, it won't be long now. Pretty soon we'll get a glimpse of old Santa's boot coming down the chimney. <laughs> he does. She'll give him a hot foot. Come on, Kath, snap out of it. What are you trying to do, veto Christmas? Boy, some Christmas, we're a little grumpy down here, and... You know, Mom's still upstairs trying to talk Aunt Neva into coming down and join us. Why'd she make the trip here? Shh! Well, this looks very festive and Christmassy. Doesn't the tree look pretty? Yes, lovely. Come in and join our merry band, and we'll make the welkin ring. <laughs> Anybody here ever rung a welkin before? <laughs> Neva, my favorite sister, may I serve you from the traditional Anderson wassail bowl? Oh, I ran across a recipe the other day that tells how they used to make a wassail bowl. It sounded horrible. They used to put sugar and nutmeg and a lot of stuff into ale and wine. And they heated the whole mess. Had cooked apples floating in it. I can just see Countess so-and-so daintily lifting her cup and getting slapped in the puss with a soggy apple. <laughs> well, uh, here's to a very merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, let's not let our enthusiasm get out of control. Maybe we need a good rousing song. Or, uh, no, let's, uh, sneak a look at our presents. How about opening a few? What do you say, kitten? I hope you get something I can play with. <laughs> oh, here's one, uh, for Kathy. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's from Kathy, and it's for... Aunt Neva. Well, deliver your present to Aunt Neva, Kathy. Kathy?
Merry Christmas, Aunt Neva. And I don't hate you anymore. I love you. Why, oh, Kathy? Regulation miracle. And it's true. Do you know what the greatest gift is, Aunt Neva? You bet I do. I've just received it. Oh, Merry Christmas, Kathy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Aunt Neva. Merry Christmas. Here, let me help you on <laughs> That's one we'll never forget. Well, we're only five then. This Christmas we could be um eleven. If uh, Kathy brings Dr. Harper and Betty brings Captain Carson. You know, it just occurred to me, they're awfully late this year letting us know their Christmas plans. Well, maybe they'll all be busy and nobody will come. Oh, fat chance. The way they roared in here for our anniversary. First sound of ho, ho, ho and jingle bells, they come busting down the door. Hey, will you take down the big box? Oh, yeah. Oh, what have we got in here? Bricks? <laughs> no. Not even the lights. You sure I'm not disturbing you? No, let me have your coat. Come on. Oh, no, thanks, Jim. I can't stay. Oh, well, at least sit down. Come on. Okay. Oh, well, all right. Just for a minute. There's something I want to ask you and Jim. All right. What is it? Maybe Jim told you. George and Jan Newman next door are selling their house. Oh, yes, I knew they were planning to. You didn't lose any time getting a prospect. Well, those people I showed the house to, they're lukewarm about it. But they like the looks of yours. Now, I know this is sudden and right out of the blue, but... Jim, have you and Margaret ever thought of selling? I know the children are all grown and out on their own. Maybe you don't need this much house. Oh, well, to tell you the truth, but we've never given it a thought. Well, it's been home for so many years. Why, well, we couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Oh, right. Believe me, I understand, but I had to ask. Uh -huh. If you should change your mind, I can sell it like that. Well, I'll tell you what, Louise. If we ever do change our mind, you'll be the very first person that we'll let know. Oh, thank you, Jim. There you are. Uh, Bye. Bye. <laughs> that is a wild idea. Oh, what would we do? Become a couple of gypsies? Oh, well, we could buy a motorhome, head for the hills. The children would have a fit. <laughs> well, it might be quite an adventure. No matter where they are, this is still home. Yeah. <laughs> where are you going? See if I can find the outside Christmas lights. They're in the garage on the second shelf, in the box marked dishes. Hello? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I'll wait. Thank you. Well, that phone call was from Betty. Did you tell her it was about time? Well, she's been waiting to hear from Frank. It doesn't look as though she and the girls will be here for Christmas. Why not? Well, it all comes from having a fiancé who was an airline pilot. Frank's been transferred to the overseas run. Rome, London, and he wants oh. Betty and the girls to go with him and spend Christmas in London. Well, you can't expect them to give that up. <laughs> well, I was kind of looking forward to having them for a few days. Yeah. The girls are growing so fast. Well, you found the light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the right box, too. Oh. Hello. Yes, yeah, this is Jim Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. Margaret. Hi. I need a place to hide. Well, come on in. I couldn't stay over at our house. The suspense, waiting for the phone to ring. But well, what's happening? Well, we listed our house for sale with Louise Baker just this morning. This afternoon, a couple came through, and they're in her office right now deciding. Uh, I, I'm so excited, I haven't even shopped for dinner. Oh, well, come on in the house. I'm sure I've got something in the freezer to tide you over. Oh. No, Jenny, we haven't heard from him. Oh, as a matter, yes. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we got a postcard, you know, from from uh, Glen Falls. He did, no, he didn't say anything about uh, when he'd be home or, or anything about Christmas. Well, how about a couple of ham steaks? Oh, perfect. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Yeah. I am so keyed up. Because if this uh -huh. deal goes through, George and I are giving each other a Christmas present, mm. a cruise to South America. Oh. And then... 
We're going to live in Florida. Wow, well, fantastic. Well, I knew Bud never cared very much about living in a big city, but I, I didn't know you were seriously planning to move. I'm ready to go, you, Margaret. You are. Yeah? Thanks. We've loved living oh. next door to you and Jim. Mm -hmm. And well, we're going to miss you. I'll tell you what. Uh, Louise uh, just sure called. Uh, she hey. closed the deal. Oh, she closed the deal. Goodbye, dear. Wow. Oh. That's like phoning from the middle of a basketball oh. game. <laughs> Phew, that was well, genie. Well, what did she say? Well, Bud's off somewhere looking for a place to move his business, and I guess Christmas is the last thing on their minds. Well, that leaves Kathy. Yeah. At least she's never let us down. Why don't you put in a call to her and I'll start the dinner? Okay. Ah. Captain? Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Wonderful. Say, uh, we were putting our plans together for Christmas. We were just wondering if... Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you must have twisted his arm. <laughs> well, you'll have a good time up there. That's beautiful country. Yeah. Well, uh, I, uh, we'll miss you, of course, honey. But I'll tell you what. You call us Christmas Eve, and uh, we'll sing Deck the Halls over long distance, huh? <laughs> Okay, darling. God bless. Goodbye, dear. She's not coming. She and Dr. Jason had an invitation to go skiing up at Elk Mountain. But they'll be here for New Year's. Well, I suppose it had to happen sometime. Our first Christmas without the children. <laughs> don't like that. No. Huh? <laughs> oh, I love him. You would. Oh. Probably more expensive than that thing oh. over there. No, it is. You know, I think we just established a new world's record. What kind? The longest distance two people ever walk in one department store in one night. Well, if the children aren't coming home for Christmas, we've got to get the gifts in the mail. I know, I know. I know. Oh, toys are getting more wonderful every year. Yeah. Oh, Jim, yeah. look. Oh. <sighs> Any money home? <laughs> oh, look at all the suits and dresses in the wardrobe. Yeah. Oh, and those darling little slippers by the bed. <laughs> Wouldn't Jenny just love this? You're a natural born spoiler, Grandma. Oh, may I help you? We're just admiring the dollhouse. <laughs> You're Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, aren't you? Mm hmm. Kathy's parents. Yeah. Yes. And and you're a friend of Kathy's, and I wish I could remember your name. Marilyn Murphy. Kathy and I were together on a swimming team in high school. <laughs> Listen, how's Kathy? Oh, she's teaching in Kansas City. You know, uh, swimming, skiing, all kinds of sports like that. She married? Almost. <laughs> I know all your kids always come home for Christmas. Give them my best. Yes, of course. Yes, Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's a little hard to tell people your children aren't coming home for Christmas. Oh, Jim, look. Have you been drinking your milk and eating your vegetables and being a real good girl? Then I'll come by and see you Christmas Eve, okay? Oh, the time we brought ours to see Santa. <laughs> you know, I think it's the same guy. <laughs> I was looking forward to bringing Robbie in. Jenny and Ellen. Yeah. Well, maybe next year. I don't think so. What? Well, next year, Bud and Betty and Kathy will be farther away and deeper into their own lives. Well, we can't change that. Nothing stays the same. You know that, honey. I know. Jim, let's sell the house. Sell a house? You mean that? Well, what do we need it for? We bought it in the first place because we were having the children. 
They're gone, and well, no need for it. Well, let's talk about it another time. Come on, let's go by the dollhouse for the girls. Well, Merry Christmas again, folks. Uh, thank you. pretty quiet all the way home. <laughs> I almost wish this weren't Christmas. You want to skip it? We can, you know. All we have to do is mail the presents and forget the whole thing. The hard part is understanding that, that the children really don't care anymore. Oh, they showed up for our anniversary. Oh, after you called and asked them to come. <laughs> Honey... Let's think a while about selling the house. There's so much here, all of our lives with the children. But that was a time, and that time is gone. We'll sell the house and, and begin a new time. Oh, I'll cry a little, but that'll be the end of it. I have to tell you, Jim, I was surprised when you called. I really didn't think when it came right down to it that you and Margaret would sell. Well, I was kind of surprised myself. We decided uh, suddenly last night. The hot water heater blew up. <laughs> no, we were in the toy department watching Santa Claus. The agreement to sell. Oh. You can check the terms. I think it's all there as you gave it to me on the phone. Hmm. I hope you're ready to move. It's going to sell fast. Yeah. You and Margaret have any plans, what you'll do? No. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll just try to get through Christmas first. <laughs> Such a busy time with the children and the grandchildren. Well, it's a little different this year. They, uh, they all have other plans. They do scatter, don't they? Like leaves in the wind. I'll call Margaret and set a time to go through the house. I've never seen all of it. Well, you won't have any problems. It's not very crowded. <laughs> Jim, I know how you and Margaret must feel. I'll try to make it all as painless as possible. I know, Louise. Thank you. You're very sweet. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. We may need some pictures of that house. I love the view from this kitchen window. Well, it's especially pretty in the spring when the lilacs come into bloom. Well, we, uh, we remodeled this kitchen about uh, two years ago. Oh, I hated to lose that old wooden drain board. It reminded me of Grandfather's kitchen. I must say, your kitchen looks brand new. Well, the children weren't raised in this one. But there are a few battle scars. Are those marks what I think they are? Yeah. That's where we measured how much the children grew each year. Well, it'll all be painted over. You know, some people whose house I sold last month had the same thing. They took the whole piece of wood out and took it with them. Oh, well, I'm afraid if we took all our memories with us, we'd have to tear down the whole house. Oh, I'm sorry. The children aren't coming for Christmas. Jim said Betty and the girls would be in London. Well, the airline pilot Betty met when she was in high school is very important in her life again. But they're engaged. Oh, that's lovely. We don't have air conditioning, but the house is insulated. And, uh, oh, the furnace was new um, five years ago. Excuse me. I'll just mosey around. Hello? Margaret, I'm home. Margaret! She's on the Ooh. phone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were here. Hmm. Margaret and I oh. were just finishing up with the facts and <laughs> figures. It's a good house. Yeah, it's kept us warm and snug for a good many years. Jim, yeah? Betty just phoned. Yeah? Frank's bringing the girls down on his 120 flight. Isn't Betty coming? Well, she has a meeting in Milwaukee, but she'll be along later. Whatever happened to London? Oh, I don't know. There was so much noise in that connection, I could only hear half of what she said. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Louise. We're having a little trouble keeping track of our offspring. Yes. <laughs> well, we're finished anyway. <laughs> oh. I'll put on my parka and 
disappear into the Arctic afternoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Yes. Well, thanks a lot for coming nice. over. Okay, the goodbye, dear. All, All right. right. Goodbye. Oh, Ooh. what do you know? I had a feeling that as sure as we put this house in the market, at least one of the children would have a change of heart. Oh, I don't think there'll be any action before Christmas. No one buys a house during the holidays. <laughs> Captain Carlson going to fly the Atlantic? It's all true. First run tomorrow. You make it and we'll give you a ticker tape parade. Sold. Can you get me a rental car, Julie? I need it for a couple hours. I'm going to be taking flight 34 back to Chicago tonight. You want a rose or Bentley? Fisher. That surprised me. Oh. What? We couldn't find the bathroom. I told you it was right around the corner. Oh, the five is two doors with pictures on it. That's right. One has a picture of a lady and one has a picture of a man. Ellen thought the man was a lady in a pantsuit. Oh, you finally found it? Finally. Oh, good. Now, come on, let's get going. Nan and Grandpa are waiting for you. You got your car. Oh, oh nice. Thank you. See you later. Here come the Chicago Bears! I assume Betty will be along later. Well, there was no reason for the girls to stay around in Chicago while Betty was in Milwaukee. Yeah. And she figured you wouldn't suffer too much if you had them for a few days. You can imagine how much we'll suffer. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Warm yourself with the fire. Oh, that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what was all that uh, stuff about uh, uh, Christmas in London? The girls didn't want to go. What about North London? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, open the coat. Look at the world there with the fire. Oh, go on. You know what you said You before. remember? Don't okay, forget your traveling cases. Oh, Sit down, right. There's something. Well, now we have them settled. What about you and Betty? Well, let's see. Uh, I arrive in Chicago from Rome at 11 a.m. the day before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Betty meets me at the airport. I catch the 12.20 flight to Springfield. We're here at Christmas Eve. Oh. That's going to take some careful timing. Well, I was told by your lovely daughter, Betty, if I want to marry her and be the father to those kids. I have to be around on all the holidays, no matter what, and I promise. Ah, well, at least you can stay for dinner tonight. Oh, no, Margaret, I'm sorry. I gotta be back in 40 minutes. Oh. Uh, let me say goodbye to the kids. Well, here you go. Girls! Girls, come on down and say goodbye to your almost father. <laughs> Good luck in all your travels. Thanks. We'll meet you at the airport on oh, Christmas Eve. Okay, I'll be there. Hey! Yes. <laughs> I'll see you Christmas Eve, okay? okay. Take care of yourself. Well, have a nice night, All girl. right, behave. All right, bye-bye. Bye, Frank. Bye. Well, girls, how about some uh, cocoa and cookies in the kitchen? And marshmallows. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. Girls, just one more and we'll be finished. Yay! How about that? Yay. Now, you kids better get inside before you freeze. You're not cold, Grandpa. Oh, not much. How does that look? I think you got too many green ones together. Well, you know what that is. These are made in Ireland, and they love green over there. Is that true? No, he just made that up. Well, I was wondering when you'd get around to putting up the rest of your lights. Yeah, I don't want any trouble with you, George. Girls, you know Mr. Newman from next door? Yeah, sure. hi. How's he doing, ladies? I think he's got too many green ones together. Well, how's the sale of your house going, Jim? What house, Grandpa? Say, Jim, you, you hear the weather on the news? We haven't had the TV on. What's happening? They say we're in for a blizzard. Yay! Oh. Snow for Christmas! Yeah, it's building up in Canada. In the next three or four days, it's supposed to come howling through here, warnings to farmers, cautioning against travel, the whole thing. Well, you better oil up your snow shovel, George. Sale of what house, Grandpa? Well, uh, I'm going to go inside where it's warm. But you take care of your grandpa, girls. We will. Well... I guess that's it. How about it? The question now is, will they light up? <laughs> everything out here. Oh, honey, uh, turn on the outside lights, will you? 
We'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay. Come on, get in there. Hurry up. Beat it. Mm. <laughs> you girls remember last year we had the tree by the window. I like it better by the fireplace. Like you see on Christmas cards. Well, that's yeah, a good that's point. <laughs> but by the front window in the daytime, you can see right through it. That's good, too. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I think I like the fireplace, too. Well, let's take a vote. Yeah. I what? vote for the fireplace. All those in favor of the fireplace. Well, oh. I'm oh. sorry, Jenny. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh, She's like goodness. one of those answering machines. Yeah. Hello? 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 Who's this? Hi, this is Ellen. She's right here. It's Uncle Bud. Bud, where are you? It's Uncle Bud, it's Uncle Bud. Yeah? Oh, that's wonderful. We couldn't be happier. Well, of course, we'll wait up for you. You drive carefully now. Bye. Bud and Jean and Robbie are coming. They're in Halesburg. <laughs> Bud says they'll be here by midnight. That's neat. Then everybody will be here. Yeah. You said it, dear, at the first sound of Jingle Bells. Can we see oh, him? Can we see him and see him, please? Oh, oh honey, no, no, I, I wish we so. could, but, but by the time they get here, oh, you'll please. be visiting with the sugar plum fairies. Oh, we never oh. get to stay. Oh, it's a long way, and it'll be late. You have no idea. It'll be after midnight. We'll sleep Maybe late. one o'clock. Some... Well, do you think something happened? Oh, honey, you know, bud. He calculates his time of arrival based upon 125 miles an hour. <laughs> and then goes 55. <laughs> there they are. I'll get the zombie. Come on, have you go, kid. Ah, gotcha. This way. This guy's out on his feet. You think you can handle him? Oh, sure. You want some help with your stuff? No, no, Mom. We got a system. See, we take it off the same way we put it on, only backwards. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, don't pick him up, Jimmy. He can walk. Two degrees to starboard, Skipper, and steady as you go. Uh, don't wake up, Robbie. I just got to give you a hug. Can you believe how he's grown? Oh, he's so tired. Put it in second gear, Robbie, and you'll make it fine. That's it. Gee, come put on. away your stuff. Up. I'll make some hot oh, cocoa. Oh, wonderful. Here we go. <laughs> Oopity doo. It's really a shame Kathy can't make it. Yeah. <laughs> what a laugh, though. Her dragging poor old Jason out, making him go skiing. How about that? <laughs> I know that's the last thing in the world a guy wants to do. You can say that again. Well, if he wants to keep up with Kathy, he better get used to it. Uh. <laughs> Betty and her airline captain still got it together? Oh, yeah, she almost had them nailed to the post. Oh, Jim. <laughs> I think the only thing standing in the way is his job. Well, Betty's concerned that he's away from home too much to make a good father. He disagrees. Get a load of this. He gets through with a round trip to Rome at 11.30 a.m. the day before Christmas. Betty flies from Milwaukee to Chicago. They join and take the 12.20 to spring tea. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about that? He's going to be out of it. Yeah, you can say that again. The way the weather's been going, the Chicago airport could be closed for Christmas. Well, I oh. think Frank will get them here if he has to come by dog sled. <laughs> well, how are things? Oh, things are good. Yeah. Robbie well, I and I still don't see him very often. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I have been running around lately. I'm, I'm trying to find a, uh, a new location for the bike shop. Mm. Jane's not uh, happy living in the city, and I can't blame her, really. I didn't say that. And I'm not crazy about living in an apartment in Minneapolis, but I'd be happy anywhere Bud could settle and be contented. <clears throat> mm. Well, um, Jim and I have some news for you. What? Oh, well, uh... <laughs> Uh, your mother and I have decided to sell the house. Oh, no. Sell the house? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, we talked it over, and we think we don't need this bigger house. Oh, oh, my gosh. 
Well, I've, I've kind of wondered how long you were going to hang on to it, but... Well, the time has come, the walrus said. Oh, it's going to seem strange. Mm -hmm. We've always thought of you and Margaret and this house as being sort of the one thing that would just never change, that you'd <laughs> always be here. Well, it, it hasn't been an easy decision. Anna, I sure like coming to your house for Christmas. Oh. degrees above zero. It's cold enough to freeze your nose. When is it going to snow more? After your mother and Frank Carson get here, I hope. Now get up to the table and I'll start breakfast. I couldn't wake Good up. Good morning, Anna. I was Hello. really out of it. Hello. Well, you should have slept in. You had a bad trip yesterday. Yeah, I know. What's for breakfast? Uh, scrambled eggs. Tough, mean, or easy. What kind are you having? I'll have mean. Then I'll have tough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How can you bear to sell this house, Margaret? Well, as I said, it's not going to be easy. You know, I've never lived in a house, never in my life. Now, that's hard to imagine. I've always wanted a, oh, a home where no one lives above or below. When you walk upstairs, it's still yours. A house just like this. Let's get the Christmas tree now, Grandpa. Breakfast first. Breakfast first. Girls, look who's here. Hi, Robbie. Hi. Well, they really fall all over each other, don't they? What am I supposed to do? Kiss them or something? Yeah, you mm. might try it sometime. <laughs> yeah, not me. Not with them. Boy, oh, you sure know how to make a girl's heart sing. Isn't that the truth? Good morning. <laughs> morning. Well, look at the old father times. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Eggs are ready. <laughs> when are we going to get the Christmas tree, Grandpa? Oh. After everybody has breakfast. Children in here and grown-ups in the dining room. How big is a tree going to be? Oh, about uh, 50 feet. Oh, he's pulling your leg, Robbie. You should know by now we have a really weird grandpa. Uh-huh. Uh, Fresh squeezed orange juice. Yeah. Now we're talking. Boy, that brings back a lot of Sunday mornings in this room. Oh, but we had it other times, too. <laughs> Who could that be? It sounds like Kathy. Kathy? Not oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> The world really? happened to you. Oh, well, you're not going to believe it. You're just really not going to believe what this man did. Oh, before she starts the replay, hello, Gene. Good to see How you. How you doing, Gimpy? You got some time yeah. for yeah. breakfast. Oh, yeah, thanks, I'm starved. I've been driving all night long. How are you doing? I'm tired. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't Thank you. Now, what is this, uh, right there. something that, uh, none of us are going to believe? Oh. Well, you know, we were invited up to the mountains to go skiing. I yes. told you. Oh, if, yes. I'd, if I'd had any sense at all, I'd have said no right then and there. But you know, Kathy. Yes, we've met. <laughs> well, my brilliant friend here, he doesn't know a ski from third base, so we figured a little bit of practice wouldn't hurt. I let her talk me into these things. I don't know why. Mm -hmm, because you can't chew gum and walk at the same time, darling. <laughs> but you're a brilliant doctor, and I love you. Anyway, there's this department store about two stories. Well, has an indoor ski slope about two stories high with cornflakes or something for snow. Yeah, well, it looked easy. Kids were going down. Well, you know, he puts on his skis, starts down the slope, and fell right into the credit department. <laughs> oh, well, we it was lucky it wasn't more serious. Oh, no, I only break um, arms and ankles. Oh, I see. And he'll do anything to get out of going skiing. Anyway, here we are. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry about your fall, but I can't tell you how happy we are that you're going to be here for Christmas. Well, Kathy doesn't believe it, but actually I planned it all this way. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> well, now you're a real skier. Oh, well, for <laughs> right. sure, anyway. Oh, oh nice. nice. Orange juice. Oh, okay. oh, hurry up! Come on, Grandpa! Hurry up! Hurry up. Come on. Get down! Hurry up! I want to be Come on, Grandpa! I'll be right there! I'm going to stop by Louise Baker's and ask her to hold off showing the house after the kids have left. There's no sense in making them uncomfortable. Oh, that's a good thought. Anything you want from the market? A side of beef, ten gallons of milk? <laughs> Two loaves of bread and uh, a barrel of peanut butter. Okay, darling. Hey, what happened? I thought we were finished with all that. Oh, go on. You love it. Uh, howling hyena. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at that big tree. It's all white. You kids stay on the lot now. There's a view. There's a view. She's a pretty one. You're right, we need to call us. 
Gotta yeah. tie the trees up for the big blow. Seems like every year around Christmas we get hit with a blizzard. Last year my trees was down flat under a foot of snow. What is the forecast? Oh, uh, forecast, weather people say day after tomorrow. Wish those Canadians would keep their blizzards to themselves. Be right back. Yeah, that's okay. Problems, problems. Everybody's got their problems. What are yours, son? Thanks, Dad. Well, it's Jean. She's just not happy. I don't know. We're, things were going good after we all got together for your anniversary. And, you know, it's been kind of going downhill since then. Are you away a lot? Well, no. No, not that much anymore. I, I'm only racing locally now. No, I, I wish I knew what was bugging her. Maybe she'd like to know what's bugging you. Dad, got a real neat tree, real yeah. bushy. Come and see it again! Come on, Dad! Come on! Who ever heard of a tree with a cat? A closing is in 60 days, Harry, and with the holidays coming, we lose a lot of time there. And you can't have the painters go in until Please. the closing. I'm sorry, I'm double parked out in front. I'm in a hurry. Harry, could I've got a car. I'll call you back. Look, uh... Can you cool the sale of the house after the holidays? The kids showed up after all, and you know it'd be awkward showing it with people going in and out. You understand? Sure, but I can't do it, Jim. Why not? Well, I have a hot prospect coming in from out of town, and there's no way to reach it. How far out of town? Indianapolis. Oh. He and his family are making the trip just for the purpose. Well, I guess that settles that. I'm being paid. Well, so long, dear. Thanks anyway. I'm sorry, that's Jim. That's all right. It's yeah. It's really too bad. Okay, goodbye. I think selling this house will be the greatest thing you and Dad ever did. Well, it's not the easiest. Well, you can move to Colorado. Get a place in Aspen. Jason and I could zip up there to see you. Poor oh, Jason. The way you treat him is a wonder he even speaks to you. Mother. He loves it. In Kansas City, he's known as the great Dr. Harper super surgeon, and everybody kowtows to him. And I call him Klutz. Do you love him? Yeah, Mom, I do. He's a great guy. Well, that's a good start. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight. Well, you're gonna go hit the slopes? <laughs> I'm gonna hobble down to the nearest motel and get some sleep. Oh, you know, he's only been up 24 hours. He tires. You're easily. not going to any motel. We'll put you up on a couch in the in the den. Of course. You know, I won't give mom. you an argument. Yeah, it's really great because I told him that earlier. See, there is room for one more in the house. <laughs> Listen, when is Betty and Frank gonna get here? Uh, didn't you say the day after tomorrow, huh? Christmas Eve. Yeah, Betty's flying into Chicago from Milwaukee. Uh, Frank's flying in from a uh, round trip to Rome, and uh, the two of them are flying down here at noon tomorrow. I don't know if they're crazy. Oh, I hope well, they beat the blizzard. Well, Frank will too. be watching the weather. Come on, listen, oh, you better get some people who will be watching you fall on your face. Right. Come on. Say, Jim. Okay. Yeah. Jim? Did, did you see Louise Baker? Oh, yes. Honey, it was too late. She got a family coming in from Indianapolis, and she couldn't stop them. Well, when are the eager beavers going to arrive? Sometime this afternoon, I guess. But don't worry, honey. I'm sure they'll telephone before they come out. It'll be all right. Okay. Hey, don't sing, Mai. Howdy, girl. Get the sled. Remember the bus. Yeah, yeah. Howdy, baby. Yeah. Get out of here. Margaret. She's washing her hands. Tell her I'm taking the kids sledding on Foster's Hill. Okay. What was that shouting all about? Oh, Dad took the kids sledding. Oh, good. Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
That's a great backyard. Perfect for a clubhouse for the kids and finally room for my ping pong table. Well, we've never had room for that ping right. pong table. Oh, come on. Hello. Who are you? Hello, I'm Louise Baker. Hello. This is Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks and their children from Indianapolis. Oh, How do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm a real Hi. estate broker. The Hendricks are here to look at the house. Oh, I'm Jean Anderson. <laughs> is there anything I can do? Well, we're waiting for Margaret. We seem to have caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Louise, I apologize. I'm afraid your court is in a terrible mess. I should have called first. I'm oh, sorry no. we ran short of time. This is the Hendricks family. Howdy. How are you? Do we, do we, do we, we had a minor flood in the kitchen. The oh. kids were sailing the boat and the lake ran over. Uh -huh. Sounds like home. Well, uh, <laughs> Louise, why don't you show the Hendricks around? You, you know the house. All right. And just be careful in the kitchen because it's still kind of wet. <laughs> no promise. We'll start in the dining room. Get your coat. Let's, yes, come, come along. On. Let's look through here first, shall we? Come on, kids. Let's go this room. way. Okay. okay. You. Huh? I've been uh, walking around. <laughs> what a difference between this place and, and Minneapolis. I must have run into ten people I know. What's out uh, the window? Nothing. I was just thinking about how your mother must feel. This house has meant a lot to her. I love it too. Come here, look. Oh, Bud, hello. I'm sorry to bother you. Aren't you like this? I have the Hendricks family with me. This is Bud Anderson. Hi, there. And you over here. We can see the whole street from over here. Come on. Isn't that pretty? You see, you see all the way down the block. This is a dumb time to sell the house. Stop grousing. If we'd known you were all coming, we could have waited. We're not mind readers, you know. All right to come in? Oh, yes, do. Uh, this was our girl's room. You have a lovely home, Mrs. Uh, Anderson. Just what we've been looking for. Well, thank you. Just, uh, just make yourselves at home. The right. colors in this room are lovely, aren't they? <laughs> really, sweetie, we have two closets for the clothing and bath on that side. <laughs> what, Kathy? <laughs> My darling. I'm sorry, Mom. Just seeing those people in our room and just all of a sudden hit me. This isn't going to be our home anymore. Oh, my darling. Wherever the family is together, that's home. Yeah, but it won't be like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I really feel stupid. Now, grown-ups cry, too. Come on, there. <laughs> Oh, Kathy. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks. Has Louise shown you the whole house? Yes, and we loved it. Oh, Your good. house is just beautiful. Thank you for letting us see oh. it. Seems to have everything we've been looking Marvelous. for. Thanks very much. Oh, Watch oh, the window, oh, kids. Oh, like Bye now. Thank you again. Come, Come on. on. Goodbye, Louise. Oh. How'd it go? I'm terribly afraid they're going to buy the house. Yeah? Come on, Grandpa! Let's put up the tree! Tomorrow's Christmas Eve! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're stronger than I am, Margaret. Why do you say that? If I were in your shoes, I'd be in tears. Oh, nothing stays the same, Jean. Why fight it? Hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Look at the rock and branches. The rock's to hold up the tree, and the branches are to make the living room smell good. Oh. Wait up, you guys! Well, I never heard of a rock holding up a tree. But he's your son. <laughs> he's your grandson. Oh. oh that's that's dumb. dumb. Oh, it is neither <laughs> yes. as dumb. Hey, there you are. Oh, oh neat. <laughs> There's a picture we ought to have in the family album. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I'm doing all the heavy work around. Here. What heavy it's work? What are you doing? Well, this is the last box in the garage. Hey, Kathy, oh. I think you should move the tree about a foot to the left. <laughs> you know, I don't think you broke your ankle at all. You are a kid. <laughs> Bud, we need some more lights. Well, we'll have to get them off the front of the house, then. No, no, no. There's the... Uh... Some up in the attic, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an old hat box. Oh, you'll you'll see it. You'll you look for sure. See if you look can around. find our Christmas stockings. You that? me. Girl, I used to read stories about kids who played in the attic. I've never been up here before. Oh, this is terrific. It's all the, the old family junk that nobody wants. Nobody wants to throw away. Oh, bud. I know you say that I don't complain. I don't tell you what my needs are. Okay, I'm telling you, I want this. I want a home. I don't want it without you. Oh, I, I know. You're not around very much anymore. What are you looking for? A better woman? Uh, of course not. I, I love you. And I know I couldn't find a better woman. Oh, it's... It's not you, it's me. I don't know. I, I can't settle down. You know... What I'm missing is this, all this right here, home. You really think it's taken us 12 years to find out we want the same thing? <laughs> Shame <laughs> on us. Well, you know, there's so much to do around the house at this time of year. 
Oh, 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 look at this. This looks pretty. Yeah. Oh, I put a bear. Oh, I've got the tray loaded. My darling. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, this is so good. That was great. Just put it anywhere you want to put it. Oh, Jason. Okay. Bob to put his final decoration. Well done, Doc. Oh, thanks. Oh, but would you get that lamp, please? Huh? Yeah. Now, hit the, uh, uh, plug there. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Christmas at the Andersons wasn't always like this. I remember the year it seemed a marvelous idea to go up in the woods and cut our own tree. And we were snowbound in an empty lodge with an old character named Nick. Hey, what's this? Tears on Christmas Eve? Well, that's just it. It's Christmas Eve, but Sandy won't ever find us up here. Now, that's how much you know about Sandy. I found out he knows exactly where you are. How'd you find out? Oh, that's secret stuff. But he'll be here. He might have a bit harder time finding the house among these big trees, but he'll find it. Come on, let's go and have some tea. <coughs> but even if he does find us, we won't have any Christmas tree for him or any carrots for his reindeers. Whoa, 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 don't. Do you know what's going to happen here tonight? A big, beautiful Christmas tree is going to grow up right through the floor. About right over there. Well, there it is. What do you think? Sure is something. It certainly is different. But it looks a little bare underneath. Kathy will love it. And she can get her presents when we get back home. Presents? Mother, those presents you put in the car to deliver? Mr. Kirkland will never miss it. Come on, bud, get your coat on. We're going back to the car. Well, follow me. Nick taught me how to walk into your file in the snow. Uh, it does my heart good to see the kids being such good sports after the way I messed up their Christmas. I believe we have some pretty good kids there. I'm sure of it. He might have a bit harder time finding the house among these big trees, but he'd find it. I never saw anything like it before. Oh, Daddy, I feel kind of all shivery inside. That's all right, baby. You know something? So do I. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Kathy. Margaret Anderson. This house is beginning to sound like a belfry. 
I'll wait. Oh, George! Ooh, oh, oh. Start the snow out there. Snow! Snow! No, you don't. No, you don't. No, it's too cold out there. No, no. Please, no, please. No, no, no. I got a snowflake! Oh, good, good. I Main storm still up north of the border, but it's sure on the way. George, when you move away, I don't know what we're going to do for a weather report. All right, I know you never worry about these things, Jim, but I do. Hey, that is a beautiful tree. Isn't that the truth? Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. If you need anything, let us know. Thanks, George. Sure. Full force of the storm's supposed to hit tomorrow night. Yeah. Boy, I, I just love weather. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Ooh, ooh. Quiet, everybody! Quiet! Quiet! That was Frank calling from Rome. What's that? He's not going to be here tomorrow night? Oh, he'll be here with Betty. Then why did he call? He's bringing us a pizza and wants to know if we want everything on it. No! Oh, I, I want to have the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, Joe. Can you... Grandpa, isn't it going to snow any more than this? Oh, sure, but tonight there probably will be more snow than you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, Nana, hmm? we're going to go see the Christmas tree. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sure that's for me. Hello. Uh-huh. Well, how'd they feel about it? Well, good, I'll be right down. Well, never thought I'd be doing business on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Mmm, whatever that is, smells great. Wait, I'm gonna be gone about an hour. Well, Bud, while you're out, will you pick up some paper and ribbon? Okay. Something about that ring upset you. <laughs> well, to tell you the honest truth, every time the telephone rings, I'm terrified it's gonna be Louise saying the house has been sold. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I uh, got some business to do across town. Oh, I ride with you. Well, no, I'm just going to do some last-minute shopping on the way back. Oh. Princess, where are you? Yeah. Who is it? Uh, it's Betty. She's right here at the airport. Does she need a ride? No, no, I'll pick her up. You go ahead, bud. Look, honey. Yeah? Well, I thought she was coming down with Frank. Yeah, uh, look, Princess, I I'll, I'll pick you up in 15 minutes, okay? Right. Well, didn't she explain? Where's Frank? I don't know, but his flight from Rome doesn't get into Chicago for another hour. Well, the buyer's meeting ended early. There was no reason to wait for Frank. After that flight from Rome, he'd sleep all the way down here. <laughs> well, if your summer fashions are any good, I might buy some from your wholesale retail. Oh, Here's your friendly neighborhood oh, mule. Thank you, Father. Oh, You're welcome. Dad, here. What did you do? Mug Santa Claus? I think picked so. picked up a few things. Where are the girls? Oh, the last I saw them, they were out in the backyard trying to decide where to build a oh, snowman. Oh, there oh. they are. Oh, have you been good girls? <laughs> Just perfect. Oh, Mommy, you know what? what? Tonight's Christmas Eve. I Isn't know. that neat? Oh, that is neat. Yeah. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad you're here. With that terrible weather they're forecasting. Well, with Frank coming home safely, we'll batten down the hatches and let that storm blow. He should just about be taking off from Chicago. Where'd my dad go? Hi, Robbie. Hi. Here's your Aunt Betty. Hi. Where'd my dad go? Oh, you little charmer. He probably went Christmas shopping. Oh, get it! Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, I'm sorry, Mother. Uh, you're a kid. racket. I know it. Hello? Yes, she is. Just one minute, please. Mom, it's for you! Will you girls please stop yelling in the house? Hello? Betty? I'm in Chicago. We had headwinds coming in, landed late. I missed my last plane south. Oh, Frank, the girls will be so disappointed. I'll get there, I guarantee it. Frank? What kind of a plane? Well, you be careful. Bye-bye. Is that anything wrong? He got in late, missed the plane down here, the only flight today. Well, he can take the first flight out in the morning. He insists he'll be here for Christmas Eve. He's borrowing a plane, flying it down himself. Well, I'm, I'm sure he's watching the weather. Mother, he insisted.
It's snowing more. Captain Frank can find the snow. I know that. What smells good, Nana? Ah, oh, pumpkin pies for tomorrow. <laughs> what is this? It grinds up stuff. Why do you plug it in? You don't plug it in. Don't take that apart, Robbie. Frank came into my life the year I graduated from high school. He was a pilot in the Air Force, and we had a very short, very beautiful first romance. It was very real then, and so very real now. I could never guess who that is up there. serious, is it? I know it sounds silly. The giddy schoolgirl who meets the handsome flyer. But it's not that. This is real. For the first time in my life, I... I know what it means to love someone. For the first time, I understand how, how you feel toward Mother. And she feels toward you. Why not? Well, I'm, I'm waiting for a call. They're transferring some of the pilots, sending them to Alaska this morning. If he's going to stay, he's going to call at exactly 9 o'clock. If he's going to go, there'll be no call because he'll be flying over our house on his way north. Christmas cheer. I just talked to air traffic control. It's snowing all along the route from here to Chicago. Frank's flying alone in it somewhere. Well, what time's he supposed to be here? His flight plan said 520. It's six o'clock now. When did you last hear from him? Over an hour ago. He said he was 80 miles north east of Springfield and asked for landing instructions. That's the last we heard of him. We lost radar contact a few minutes later. Thank you. They've lost radar contact. No one knows where he is. Oh. He can take care of himself, honey. Frank's flown on weather like this, worse than this, many, many times, believe me. You know what I can't figure out? With all his experience, why'd he even take off with a storm coming down on him? He did it to please me. I made such a big deal. He had to be here for Christmas Eve. He did it for me. Well, leave him alone. Where are we no. Stop it. Look at you, Dad. Bobby. It's 8.20, kids. Time you got to bed. Oh, come on, Dad. No, 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 come on. Up. Good night, Aunt Kathy. Good night, Nana. Good night, Robbie. Good night, Robbie. Robbie. See you tomorrow. I'll check you in a minute. Good night. Good night, honey. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. I should have told him not to come. Have you any idea how much fuel he had? About five hours of flying. At 7.30, he burned the last of it. 
He's down somewhere around Clintville, as near as we can tell. If he doesn't call in, we'll start a search in the morning. Thank you very much. some remote airstrip. Oh, sure, he knows this route like the back of his hand. He could have landed at Clintville. <laughs> he would have called. Well, Why don't we admit it? We all know maybe, what's happened. Maybe he's a long way from the top. <laughs> you don't know, Donnie. He might be on his way now. You don't know it. You can't. Don, we now are gay. me about a hundred miles north. My visibility was dropping and the headwinds were eating up all the fuel. I knew I had to put down somewhere. I saw the, the lights of a farmyard away out in the distance and I dropped down, circled around. I'll tell you, somebody up there must have been watching out for me because it turns out that the farmer was an ex-pilot. Ah. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. He got his truck out, aimed the lights right down the pasture. I landed drove me all the way back here. Honey, the phone was out. I did the best I could. I know. <laughs> Captain Carlson, what's this? Who? Oh, that's one of the... I must have taken one of his gifts by mistake. He had a whole truckload full of them. Uh, come in, come in. Excuse me. I've lost one of my packages. I took this by mistake. I'm sorry. Thank you, son. So I want to thank you again for everything you did for me. Well, it's all in the spirit of Christmas, son. Merry Christmas to all. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And to all a good night. Night. Merry Christmas. Night. Merry Christmas. Good night. Good night. Thank you. That's weird. What's his name? You know, he didn't tell me. Look what I got for me! He's not a beauty! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, hey, look at that! How about that? Hey, everybody! Quiet, 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 quiet. Uh, I guess this is as good a time as any to tell you. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, the house has been sold. Oh, really? Oh, no. This mm -hmm. house for sale? Yeah. You never even told me. Well, when did, well, I didn't have a chance. Yeah, uh, when did this happen? A little while ago. But, uh, Look, everybody, now, don't have such long faces. We'll have our reunions. We'll still get together. But it won't be the same. It won't be here. Well, no. I know, honey, but... <laughs> Listen, as, uh, as long as we're making announcements, I'd like to make one. I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that... Uh, Robbie and Jean and I have to leave tomorrow for Minneapolis. Oh, oh, now, 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 the, the good news, as a uh, Christmas present for Jean, I'm the one who bought the house. Oh, <laughs> isn't that something? Can you believe that? But, Jim, you uh, knew it all the time. Well, sort of, yeah. <laughs> you know, it took me 12 years to figure out that, well, Springfield and a house like this is what we've been looking for. Huh? Now, all I need from Mom and Dad 
It's a small down payment and a lot of time on the balance. Ah, uh, <laughs> you got it, you got Thanks, it. Dad. You know how happy I am. No, we couldn't have planned it any better. You know what? This is really super. Next year, we can all pile in on Bud and Gene. Hey, that's a good yeah. idea, huh? That's right. That's right. That's right. The move. Oh, you tell us. Well, as soon as you and Jim decide what you want to do. What a Christmas. I think we can all second that. Uh, what a Christmas. Well, you really get mixed up with these Andersons. Yeah, you never know what they'll do next. Oh, oh. wait a minute. That's not fair at all. Okay, honey. Oh, I think the daddy has. He says my present's done. He said mine was. All the years in this house. What a wonderful way to keep this family together. Yeah. Do you think we should tell him the roof leaks? Oh, sure. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 